My 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 the Mathador thinks that he can succeed where the Math Marauder failed and stop the children from learning and using their ten times table. Not if I can help it. It's ten times table training time. Gather the Math Heroes. Let's go! Time for our ten times table training. Are you ready? One ten is ten. Two tens are twenty. Three tens are thirty. Four tens are forty. Five tens are fifty. Six tens are sixty. Seven tens are seventy. Eight tens are eighty. Nine tens are ninety. Ten tens are a hundred. Eleven tens are a hundred and ten. Twelve tens are a hundred and twenty. Math heroes, that was fantastic. You shut that math door. He can't beat you. Those stupid math heroes think they cannot win the math. They still going to have to use their ten times table to. <laughs> now that we've practiced our multiples of 10, we're ready to use what we know to help us multiply and divide by 10. So, I have a challenge for you. On your whiteboard, I want all you math heroes to write all the multiples of 10, starting from zero and finishing with 120. Are you ready? Go! Okay, now that you have written down all of your multiples of 10, you can use those numbers to help you work out these multiplication sums. Okay, now, shout out the answer as soon as you know it. Are you ready? Here we go. Three times ten. Excellent. Five tens. Eight times ten. Twelve tens. Four times ten. Nine tens! Fabulous! You guys are super! So, math heroes, we know that multiplication and division are opposite. Multiplication undoes division, and division undoes multiplication. So, if we know a multiplication fact for the ten times table, then we also know a division fact. So, take a look at this multiplication fact. 8 times 10 equals 80. What division fact goes with that multiplication fact? 
Very good. 80 divided by 10 equals 8. Fantastic. Let's try another one. 10 times 10 equals 100. On your whiteboard, I want you to write the division fact that goes with this multiplication fact. Very good. 100 divided by 10 equals 10. Ready for another one? Here we go. 5 times 10 equals 50. Write the division fact that goes with that multiplication fact. Excellent. 50 divided by 10 equals 5. One more. Hmm. 9 times 10 equals 90. Write the division fact that goes with that multiplication fact. Great job. 90 divided by 10 equals 9. Super. Great job, math heroes. Now, don't forget to complete your training to do activity book 2C, page 19, and then post a picture of it to your portfolio so that your super teacher can see it. Fabulous. This can be. They're doing, They're doing it. it. Well, well, I'm not done, done yet. yet. They've multiplied, multiplied by two, two, five, five, five and ten, ten, ten separately. separately. But they'll never manage to do them together. <laughs> That's what you think. Our math heroes are smarter than you. You're right, Mistress Multiplication. Come on, math heroes, let's prove him wrong. Take a look at this number line. Now. Write this sum on your whiteboard, 3 times 5. So, to work out this problem, the frog needs to make hops of 5. So, if it makes 3 hops of 5 from 0, where will it land? That's right, he'll land on 15. 3 times 5 equals 15. Now how about this one? Write 6 times 2. The frog is now going to make hops of 2. He needs to make 6 hops of 2. So where is he going to land now? Excellent! He's going to land on the number 12. All right, one more. Three times 10. Now he's going to be making hops of, that's right, 10. So he needs to make three hops of 10. So where is he going to land? Excellent, on the 30. See? Now you're showing that matador. Now let's make things a little more interesting. Look at the number line again. Now write this sum on your whiteboard. Hmm. The first number is the one that's missing now. So, this frog is going to make hops in twos. How many hops will it have to make to reach 16? Here we go. Look at that. The frog had to make eight hops. 
to reach 16. So, eight hops of two or eight twos make 16. So, how do I complete the sum? Eight times two is 16. Fantastic! Now we're going to do something a little bit different. Take a look at this. We're not just missing a number in this sum, we're missing a sign as well. One of these three belongs in that missing space. Let's take a look at what we've got. The sum starts with a 10 and finishes with a 5, so we're getting smaller. Does that indicate to you multiplication or division? That's right. If it were multiplication, the numbers would be getting larger. So this is definitely a division. And there's only one there that fits. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Fabulous. Let's try another one. Take a look at this one. We're starting with a 9 and we're finishing with an 18. So are the numbers getting smaller? bigger. Excellent. The numbers are getting bigger, so that means it has to be a multiplication. Which one of those fits in that space? Fabulous. 9 times 2 is 18. Great job! Now, do these next three on your whiteboard. Have you finished? Great! Let's check them out. 6 blank equals 30. What goes in that space? Well, it's getting bigger, so we know it's a multiplication. But what are we multiplying by? Fabulous! 6 times 5 equals 30. Good job! Now, let's look at the next one. We're starting with an 80 and we're finishing with an 8. So, are we multiplying or dividing? That's right, we are dividing. So, 80 divided by... 10. Really good. 80 divided by 10 equals 8. Great job! One more. The last one, you started with a 45 and you finished with a 9. So, are we multiplying or are we dividing? The numbers are getting smaller, so we're dividing. Good. But what are we dividing by? We're not dividing by 10. We're not dividing by 2. We are dividing by 5. Very good. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. Super! Well done, math heroes. Now, to complete your training, do page 20 in activity book 2C. and Post it to your portfolio so your super teacher can see it. That mathador is going to have to work a lot harder to try and stop us. Ah, is that so? Well, well, well. Next time, I will try harder and I will win! Me to add one is even now, too much.